Well, hello and good morning, Mosaic family. Service will begin in just a moment. But first, you guys know what time it is. It is check-in time. Now, if you're joining us in person today, you can use the QR code on the screens or on the cards in your chairs. You can also use our app. If you're joining us online, just click the link in the description box and I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to do that and I will be right back. Hey Mosaic family, it's DJ, your online worship director here at Mosaic Church. I just wanna say a huge welcome to all of you that are joining us today. Now, if this is your first time joining us, or you're a seasoned family member, or you're worshiping with us online today, either way, it doesn't matter. You are welcome, you are family, and we are so glad that you've chosen to join us here on Easter Sunday. Today, we are celebrating new life, we are celebrating the resurrection, and we are celebrating victory over death. I am so ready for worship today. But before we jump in, I just wanna tell you about a few things coming up right here at Mosaic Church. We've got a ton of serving opportunities for our Mosaic family, both in-house and in the local community. Now, if you're a student, you can join Miss Tiffany at Dominic Lofino Park on April 10th. You can go to the family ministry page on our website to sign up for that. You can also help us stock up an entire food pantry by shopping for the items needed and bringing them with you to church throughout April. Just grab a feed 5,000 bag on your way out and grab the items listed on the bag. Now, don't worry if you don't have an opportunity to grab a bag, that's okay. That list and a bunch of other really cool serving opportunities can be found on our serve page of our website, www.wearemosaic.org forward slash serve. We have a bunch of new discipleship classes like Moms Set Free, Boundaries, The Dream of You, The Good Life, Life Together, and more beginning next week. If you guys wanna sign up or check out what we have coming up, just go to our website, www.wearemosaic.org forward slash discipleship hyphen classes. And last but not least, here's Miss Tiffany to tell you all about our upcoming Mosaic Kids Camp. Hello, Mosaic. I am so excited to share with you all that we will be hosting Mosaic Kids Camp this summer on June 21st through June 24th. Our evening camp will be open to our elementary age kids and it will run from 6 to 8 p.m. Throughout our camp, our kids will be challenged to grow in their confidence that comes from the Lord. Our kids will also participate in field games, culinary day, artistry day, and messy games. It is going to be so much fun. And not only is our, our goal to teach and have fun, but to keep all of our leaders and our kids healthy and safe. So. Our camp will be held outdoors, under a tent, and on the green space of our St. Andrews campus. It will take a full church effort to make this camp happen. So we want you to sign up your kids, your grandkids, nieces and nephews and neighbors and friends. We want them all to be a part of this awesome event. We would love your prayers as we continue to prepare for camp. If you would like to get in on the action the week of and be on the front lines or behind the scenes that week, we would love to have you. So keep an eye out on how you can get involved with that. If you feel led to bless this camp with some of our material needs, we will make a supply list available to you. Or if you would like to give towards our camp, you can give on the website or on our Mosaic app. Church, this is going to be so much fun. And I hope you will not just think about it, but be about it and show up for our kids. You can find all of this information on our website, www.wearemosaic.org or via our app. If you're watching with us online today, just click the link in the box for all of this information. We hope that you guys will join us back next week for the start of our new series, Hidden Figures. We're going to learn about some really awesome women in the Bible and how they led others, how they served others with Jesus and how they helped spread the gospel. Are you guys ready for worship? All right, if you're ready for worship, I need you to stand on your feet. Okay, are you on your feet? All right, let me hear you yell victory! 
I heard you, you guys sound great. All right, let's worship. He has written. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. And welcome to worship at Mosaic at St. Andrew. Welcome to our Easter Sunday celebration. A celebration because Jesus is risen and Jesus is alive. Now as part of our celebration, we are going to be sharing in Holy Communion. So if you need to stop this video and take a moment to get some juice and some crackers or bread, please do that now. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him, they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. I am so excited to be with you today. It seems as if though I have been stuck inside a tomb for the last 14 days or more. But today, I am free and I am alive and I have so much to celebrate with you. If you are able, please stand and share in the bold words on the screen. Friends, the tomb is empty. The stone has been rolled away. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. For three days he lay in that cold and lonely cave. But God's love cannot be contained by anything, not even death. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our risen Lord. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Come, let us worship the risen Christ. Oh, 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 oh,
Am I so happy to be here today? You might think it's just another Sunday. Well, yes and no. Because for the last 14 days or more, I have been confined to being at home because I tested positive for COVID. I have no idea how or where I caught the virus. But all I know is that I felt awful. I had fever, I had chills, and my whole body ached. I curled up on my bed and slept. And there were days when I cried out and said, God, I'm ready to see Jesus now. I was in despair of being sick for what seemed to be a never-ending time. I know that what I experienced is nowhere near as bad as those who have been in the hospital or even those who've had sufferings with pain and illness and their experience has been so much greater than mine. But at the time you are going through your worst nightmare, it's bad. No one can fully understand the agony. And it's different for each of us. You feel alone, you feel empty, you feel weakness, and you wonder if you're ever going to get better. Well, this past year has been one where we may have asked these same questions, not just due to the pandemic, but the rippling effect of it. Economic instability, loss of identity, loss of relationships and companionship and community. The losses are endless. And we might feel as if though we've been buried in a whole lot of dirt. And we feel as if though there's no way out and no hope. Where is the light at the end of the tunnel? Is there a light? Is there life after this pandemic? Friends, whenever I struggle with questions and uncertainty, I tend to turn to God rather than away from God. Why? Because I know that the only one that can walk with me through the dark night is the one who not only created the darkness, but the light as well. The woman at the tomb saw a brilliant light and a messenger that told them that Jesus, whom they thought was dead, but was now alive. Their world was turned upside down when Jesus was crucified. Our world has been turned upside down in lots of ways too. So what is the good news for us today? No matter how dark the night You and I have someone who understands the sorrow, the despair, the pain, and the suffering. I was not alone. You are not alone. We can cry out and know that our cries are heard. We may not be in our cold stone tomb for just three days. It might be more. But we will never be alone. Jesus will be with us in our tombs of despair and carry us. That is good news. Secondly, because of the victory Jesus conquered over death, we don't ever have to be afraid of death. Death does not separate us from God, ever. We have a hope. We have an assurance that because of the death of Jesus on the cross, we have been given a cure, 
against sin forever. The death and resurrection of Jesus has removed the fears of death and separation from God and those whom we love forever. Jesus is the cure that is perfect for the disease of every sin that gives us separation, but he gives us new life filled with love and hope and joy. Easter is not about the Easter bunny or candy. We celebrate Easter and we come to worship every Sunday to celebrate the new life we have because of Jesus Christ. A life that does not have to be controlled by fear or despair, no matter what. Jesus gave us a tangible way of remembering this new life without fear and despair when he shared the bread and the cup. And he invites us to share in this meal with him today. So I invite you to the table and to have your bread and your cup or the little one ready for this sacred meal. Because Easter is more of a celebration when we remember the purpose of Jesus' death because there would not be a resurrection of healing without brokenness, tears, death, or shed blood. You see, Jesus took the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying this, is my body broken for you? Take and eat in remembrance of me. So friends, if you are in a tomb of despair, or you're feeling alone, or you're hurting, when you break the bread, know that Jesus understands you and offers you healing and hope. In the same way, after the supper was over, Jesus took the cup and said, this is the cup of the new covenant. For the forgiveness of sins, take and drink in remembrance of me. Jesus shed blood has erased your sins. You have been cured against sin and death forever. You are forgiven. And because we are forgiven, we too can forgive others. And so we pray that God will pour out his Holy Spirit on these cups and bread, on this table, and on the tables that are in front of you in your homes. And may they become for us the body and blood of Christ. So that we might be redeemed. We might know the joy of the healing from sin and death. May we become the body of Christ in the world. As we receive new life in Christ. And be compelled to go and tell others of the joy of the good news. That you and I have received. The body and blood of Christ given for you to renew and revive, refresh and restore you to live the resurrected life in Christ. Take and eat in remembrance of him. Take and eat and receive new life.
Thank you, God, that you have fed us in this sacrament and united us with Christ and given us a foretaste of that heavenly banquet. And with the people of God, we pray together that prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, we are surrounded by spring flowers. And they remind us that what was once appearing dead in the ground has new life. There is resurrection. There is hope. And a hope that has not been quenched. For over 2,000 years or more. Friends, I want you to know that even though I'm a pastor, I have had days of darkness, gloom and despair. Especially when I can't see the way ahead or what in, you know, what's going on ahead of us. And in our coming together with Christ Church Network and with Mosaic Church, it's not been without challenges. Mostly because of not being able to be with one another. And we are in this waiting period. We are being transformed. We are allowing God's Holy Spirit to remold and reshape us to be this new church. A new being. That will find a new voice. To proclaim loudly and boldly that we are worshipping a risen Christ every Sunday. And I long for that day. Sometimes when we become too complacent with our routines, we forget the real reason we gather. And the real message that we are called to proclaim. The women were told to go and tell that Jesus was risen. They were not asked to call people to come to the tomb. Did you know that if we go and tell others that they too might encounter the risen Christ for themselves? And then they would want to come. To worship him too. So who will you go and tell? Who needs to hear that life in our tomb can end with hope and joy? Because Jesus Christ is risen today. Who needs to hear that love has conquered the grave? Christ the Lord is risen. So let us sing our hearts out. Christ the Lord is risen today. Christ the Lord is risen today.
Each Sunday, we pray a breakthrough prayer. This is a prayer that reminds us that because of the risen Christ, we can see miracles in our own lives and in the lives of those whom we love. So I invite you to also pray this prayer daily and experience the risen Christ for yourself. And I'm grateful for Pastor Nita Stoblis from Phil Am Church and his family for leading us in this prayer. Let us pray. Tayo manalangin. God of breakthroughs. Dios ng tagumpay. We boldly ask you. Panatag po kami ng nagsusumamo sa inyo. To heal us. Bigyan niyo po kami ng kagalingan. From the past hurts and former labels. Mula sa mga nakaraang sakit at mga nakakasakit na tawag. While we fully trust that you will take care of our needs. Habang lubos naming pinagkakatiwalaan na aalagaan mo ang aming mga pangangailangan. Propel us past our self-imposed and our natural limitations. Itaguyod kami tulad ng nakaraan ang mga ipinataw sa aming mga sarili at aming mga natural na mga limitasyon. So we may live and thrive. Upang kami ay mabuhay at umunlad. Through your limitless power. Sa pamamagitan ng iyong walang hanggang kapangyarihan. In our individual lives. Sa aming individual na buhay. And collectively as your church. At sama-sama bilang iyong simbahan. Amen. 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 I invite you to a unique Easter prayer today. You can pray in the way that you would like to, with your eyes closed or your eyes open, standing or seated. But as we meet the divine in prayer today, we do it knowing that we are engaging a risen Lord. So if you'd like to stand, now is the time. Lord of new life and savior of the people, we pray to you today out of our love for you, for what you have done for us. As we come close to you, we put our arms out in front of us. And once our arms are out in front of us, we cross them, pulling them in and wrapping ourselves in a hug. We squeeze as tightly as we can to feel safe and secure in this embrace. Sometimes, Lord, this is what we need to connect to you. But now we slowly begin to open our arms and stretch them wide. And we do this because this is how we are to be at the times when you challenge us beyond ourselves. We keep stretching, arms open, wider and wider and wider still. We notice, Lord God, that as we do this, it gets a bit more uncomfortable. The more we stretch, we might feel some pain. Lord, help us to know that as we open ourselves wide, we open more to others, and in so doing, come closer yet to you. This is what your son Jesus did. He opened his arms wide, so wide, that he took us all in and saved us and released us to live for you. Now we lift our arms up, up over our heads, and we praise you. We celebrate that Jesus is alive and has brought us alive and freed us from our darkness. Today, Lord of Lords, we joyfully close our prayer with an Amen and an Alleluia. Hear us as we repeat the words, Amen, Alleluia, and we repeat them again, Amen, Alleluia. We come to a special time in this celebration today to give what we can in response to your overwhelming gift to us, Lord. May our gifts Help us to reach out as wide as we can to serve the community you have given us here and the nation you help us touch and the world you call us to impact. You can give online or through the mail, but most importantly, give out of your joy today. You can also give by coming to the church to get a Feed the 5,000 grocery bag with instructions for what to fill it with then you can return your bag sometime during the month of April. 
Now, friends, let us pray. God of amazing love, today we are joyful recipients of your love and grace that cannot be matched. Because of your generosity and goodness, we give ourselves as an offering of love, as well as our resources. And we do this on this Easter Sunday with an eternal Alleluia on our lips. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavens. Friends, we have lots of ways to share the good news by doing life together. The men in our community are inviting you to a breakfast. The men are inviting the men for a breakfast on April 24th at 8 a.m. There's no charge and we're going to be in the backyard of 350 North Fairfield Road. And if you want to know more about what's happening at St. Andrew with Mosaic Church, then come on April 28th, either at 10 o'clock or at 6.30, in person, with masks, to meet with the pastors. Because it's a time of sharing information and getting excited about what God is doing in our midst. And finally, the kids are not left out. They are going to have a kids camp June 21st to the 24th and want to put that on your calendar and not forget that. And friends, we are going to have this amazing worship following Easter Sunday as we look at the women in the Bible that spread the good news. So come join us next Sunday too. But here's some other good news I want to share with you. And that is on Easter Sunday at the mall, we are having baptisms. There's going to be 20 some baptisms. And encourage you if you are able to come in person at 9.15 or 10.45 to Mosaic at the mall. Lord is doing amazing things. So we thank God for that. We have great news to share with everyone we meet. So with that assurance, with that conviction, with that experience that Jesus is risen and that he lives and he walks and he talks with me, let's say he lives.
this plant looks very dead. Doesn't it? And it's been in our office. But when I walked into the office on Monday, I had to just shout with joy because I saw new leaves. This plant that looked really, I mean, it really does look dead, doesn't it? Was resurrected. There is, friends, resurrection all around us. I know I've received new life and new strength. And that is the message of Easter. There is no more death with Jesus' resurrection. There is hope. There is hope. So if you need someone to talk to because you feel as if you are in a tomb of despair, please call the prayer line on our webpage or on We Are Mosaic. Jesus lives today. And I'm hoping that you will experience that for yourself soon. And rejoice with me. So go. Celebrate the resurrection. Hallelujah. Go. Bring love to those who are sad. Go. Share joy with those who are happy. And now say it with me. The words are on the screen. We will go and live our lives to the glory of God. We will live in resurrection joy and hope and bring new life to those we meet. Alleluia.